Okay, everyone. Hello, hello. I'll wait till the room fills up. I got back from Brimfield and couldn't do this from Brimfield, so I got home. I was going to do it in my car, actually, like driving. Like, literally, I, I would have just pulled over on the side of the road somewhere, but I made it to a location where there's service. Brimfield was great. I still have my little stamp and my armband from uh, Dealer's Choice. I hope everyone else had fun at Brimfield. Oh, hello, Matt, Greg, hello, Mark, hello. Thank you, Greg. All right, so I got a couple of people to start in the room here, and we're gonna start off with this bank. Real fast, we have one hour. I got two of these banks, but we'll start off with one of them. And, uh, you know, it's an old one. It's an original. Anyone want to start me off on this uh, nickel, dimes, and quarters banks? Uncle Sam's. Come on, this is nice. Five dollars, you know? Very good condition. No one wants his bank? Five dollars to start? Someone's got a bid on this. Look at this. Uncle Sam's three coin register bank. Not a reproduction. No Japanese here. This is original. Five dollars with JP. Alright, come on. Look at this. I mean, it moves perfectly. I haven't put any quarters in here. Oh, that, that's great, Matt. Order me chicken parmesan, please. I'll be back. Any advance? $5? Is JP going to win this bank for $5? I can't get $2 more? Someone give me $7. I only have an hour here. Come on. This bank is worth way more than $5. JP's getting a good deal. Look at this thing. It opens and everything. I mean... No one wants to give more than $5. Am I going to count this down? $7 with Billy. Thank you, Billy. Billy, your items are on the way. Any advance on 7 You know, like... It's a nice bank. It works. Near mint condition, not mint, but you know, for its age, this thing is, is nice. It's not a Japanese reproduction, it's the original. Oh, you want me to hammer it, Billy, at $7? No one can give me a $10 bill for this thing? Actual shipping? It's heavy, it might fit in a medium flat rate box. I already have a $10 with Toby, thank you, Toby. Someone advanced Toby's $10, $12, somebody, $12. I don't even know this thing opened here, but it does. I guess when you put the quarters in. I don't even quarters or nickels or dimes on me. But, you know, I'm here for you guys. I did this for you, not for myself. Toby's at $10. If no advance, I want to count this thing down in 10 seconds. We got 22 people in the room. $12 with Billy. Thank you, Billy. I mean, like I said, I got one hour, so I'm trying to move this thing along fast. I mean, while you guys think about this, and I'm thinking about when to count it down, Billy's at 12. We got other stuff. We got rings, silver. We got costume jewelry. There's another bank in the corner. So, Billy, if you want two, you can get two for one money. And two for, uh, you know, times the money you pay. But you tell me what you know. All right, I'm going to count it down here. Ten seconds. That's it. I mean, I don't know how much lag there is, but 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, nickels, dimes, and quarters, Uncle Sam's register bank, 4, 3, <clears throat> 2, 1, if there's no lag and no advance in the next 3 seconds or so. All right, Toby got it. Toby's in at 15. And remember, there's two, so this is, you know... If you want both of them, it's times whatever whatever the auction ends at. Toby's at 15. I got the other one over here. You know, so if you want both of them. Yeah, Toby was in. Toby was in. I saw it. 
he made it in. All right, I'm gonna go down again. 10 seconds, that's about it. Get your bids in. Toby's at $15, he's gonna get this one. It works, yeah. It works, I don't have any quarters to put in, but you know, it works. It works. It's in very good condition. 25 second lag, all right. See the writing is a little off on this one. The other one, the writing is a little better. Well, not much, but they both work. And, you know, it's choice. This one's a little more rusty, the one on the left. But I'm going to count it down for Toby. Hello, Mark. In, uh, in five seconds. And then uh, we're going to wait about 25 second lag. So, you know, five, four, three, two, 17 with Ashley. Made it in under the gun. Well, my gun. But remember, this is for choice. You can get both of them for the same, you know, one month, you know, whatever. $20 with Toby. You know, these are nice banks. I mean, they both work. Lenny, my uh, Brimfield partner. You know, they're both nice. These are nice banks here. And there's two to choose from. So, like I said, you got the writing on the back. You can't really see it. So, Toby's at $20. Anyone else advance that $20? You can choose. You can have one or both. Shipping is uh is you know regular cost. So if I can fit this in, if I can fit this into uh no guns talking. There's no guns here, Greg. If I can fit this into a flat rate box, it's gonna go flat rate medium, and that's about fourteen dollars. So it's actual shipping costs on this stuff. I'm not trying to make money. I pay for the boxes. I pay for the tape, you know, and I go to the post office and I do all that good stuff. All you got to do is pay for the nice bank. So Toby's at 20. I'm going to go from 5 seconds and then we have a little bit of lag. And then he's going to they're going to choose which one they want. So 5 4 3 2 1. I'm going to give a little bit for lag, you know. A couple seconds here just for the lag. This is just lag time, guys. If no one else is in, Toby's got no video games. All right, Toby, you've got yourself a bank or two. What do you say? One for 20 or two for 40? Two is going to be a little more shipping if I can get them into the flat rate large box. One or two banks and which one? The one here on, on the right side or the one here on the left side? I think the right side is a better condition one. Toby, this is all you. Take both for 40 bucks, all right? 40 bucks. Toby Taylor has both of the banks. That's actual shipping, Toby. I will get that to you soon. All right, now let's see. We have some costume jewelry, the better costume jewelry. Brighton, all Brighton. Some, there's even a piece of silver in here. Piece of an earring. Um, this is jade i'm not sure if this is gold oh we're back home lou we we flew back from brimfield just for the auction and then we'll head back up tomorrow have to get new tires before i flip the truck yeah, that wouldn't be fun i'm not sure if these ends are gold the the chain isn't but this is all good brighton pandora type jewelry and uh you know someone start me off here here's a little silver coin bracelet these are silver coins silver chain uh, Pierre Cardon cufflinks you know if you want to buy these at Bloomingdale or something I'm sure they're like a thousand or two dollars and I believe both of them are in here even have a Pierre Cardon money clip you know the the good metal this is another thousand at Bloomingdale's. Hi, Courtney. Uh, no other vintage toys right now. This is on the go auction. This is on the fly. Yes, I do have two Pierre Cardon 
Six dollars with Jeff Marshall. Jeff's gonna like steal this stuff. I mean, Brighton. You know, this is like a little Japanese kind of dish here. This is a nice Austrian crystal bracelet. Come on, someone advance, Jeff. Six dollars. We got the silver coin. Indian coins. You know, you see this here. No, not tonight. No hum. Not right this second. Not this auction. To uh, time was uh, of the essence here. I, I literally ran home for this. So, you know, look at this silver coins on a bracelet. I want someone advanced. This is Brighton. Signed Brighton jewelry. You know, this is nice stuff. I mean, six dollars. This costume jewelry lot. Look at this. There's silver in here. Austrian crystal. Jade. Pierre Cardon cufflinks. Pierre Cardon uh, money clip. Like I said, at Bloomingdale's, what are you going to pay for this? $500 with plus tax? Uh, this is silver right here. This bracelet. Silver with the little stones. Shipping is, is, is all uh, actual cost. Actual cost shipping on everything. So if this costs $6 to ship, it's $6 to ship. I buy the box. I supply the tape. These are Brighton earrings. Now, this is signed stuff. No, look at this. Look at this. Look at this bracelet. No advance. It's $6. Jeff Marshall's going to take it for $6. I mean, this is nice. Jade. Jeff Marshall's winning them all. No one wants this. Jeff Marshall, $6. That's it? Really? I mean, this bracelet alone is worth $8. Roger, thank you. This bracelet alone is probably worth about that. Lou, $9. That's okay. $10, Jeff Marshall. These are silver coins from India. You know, made into a charm bracelet. You know, this is uh, a loan in silver. $12 from Roger. Thank you. I mean, look at this Brighton. This is the uh, Brighton of Pandora. 15 with Jeff Marshall. Like I said, you know, this is an authentic Pierre Cardon uh, money clip. You know, good for a gift. Or if you have a receipt, you return it right to Bloomingdale's. You get like a four ninety nine credit. 499 Then you got the cufflinks. You know, these things cost about $1,000 at Bloomingdale's. I mean, these are Pierre Cardon. 22 with Jeff Marshall. You got a little silver piece here. It was an earring, but now it's like a silver bar. See the 925. 22 with Jeff Marshall. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, here's another silver bracelet. Look at this. I mean, there is silver in here, guys. I barely looked at this stuff. I just flew home. I was going to do this in the driver's seat of my car. But I think it's probably illegal in some states, so I decided not to. It's Austrian crystals. I don't know if this is silver, but it's possible. This is a nice bracelet. 22 with Jeff Marshall. Any advance? Roger. Lou. Let me know what you're thinking here. This is nice stuff. Look at this. Look at this Brighton. No, no, I can't do it in Brimfield because there's no service. Look at this Brighton charm bracelet. You know, this costs money. I did all right. I'm going back up tomorrow. Out. All right, Jeff Marshall. I'm going to count it down. In uh, 10 seconds, like I said, I don't know, what is that, gold there? 9, 8, Jeff Marshall at $22 with this Brighton costume jewelry and Pierre Cardon lot. $22, you know, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, we'll give some time for lag. This is Jade. Not, you know, any other stone but jade. 
one and you know give some time for a lag I didn't test this for gold Jeff Marshall's got a steal here at twenty two dollars and uh, you know I think Jeff Marshall won himself a very nice lot of costume mixed silver jewelry for twenty two dollars that is sold right there to Jeff Marshall twenty two dollars on the Brighton costume jewelry all right, what do we have here? We have a little pocket watch, silver. has a little nick on it, but this is silver. Let me see if I can open it here. This is a silver pocket watch. Yes. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. I'll try to open this thing. It's not really opening, but okay, here we go. Now, this is a little pocket watch. I don't know the name, but it is silver. And it does work. It's like a lady's pocket watch. Silver with a wash. Someone start me off at $10 for this thing. It says something on there. It's not gold, it's definitely silver. But it's nice, no monogram. I can hear it ticking. Has a little bit of problem with the crystal on top. Ten dollars for this thing. This is a nice little pocket watch. Can't get ten dollars? No one? Twelve dollars with Jeff Marshall. Alright, Jeff, thank you. Um, see the silver mark right there? I believe it's 800. Let me try to open it up. Here we go. Here's the movement. 15 with Lenny. Oh, Lenny. Going in for a win. There's the name. If you can read it. Cromley, Crowley. $20 with David. You know, it's a nice little pocket watch, and it works. 24 with Jeff Marshall. It works. This is an old one. See, it has a little button on top to pull out to change the time. And then you just wind it up. Throw a watch fob right through there. And if you can read that name, God bless you. I can't even read it from here. 24 with Jeff Marshall. Look at the back, it's beautiful. All right, 24, 25 with Lenny. All right, Lenny, we'll take your dollar bid, that's okay. Lenny knows a nice little pocket watch when he sees one. 29 with Jeff Marshall, 30 with David. David. David's the watch guy, he knows better than anyone what this is. 33 with Jeff Marshall. Yeah, this is nice, it's cute, it works, everything. 35, Lenny. All right, Lenny, let's try to win you something tonight. And like I said, look at the design. No monogram. 37 with Jeff Marshall. I guess the lag isn't as bad now, but it works, you know? You pull this little bar up, you change the time, then you put it back down, you wind it, and who knows, maybe it's half gold. I mean, right now I'm about half dead, so it's possible. I just drove all the way from Brimfield, 37 with Jeff Marshall. Could be half gold. I'm not saying it is, but at this point it's a possibility. So, 40 with Lenny. Yeah, you guys know something I don't. Jeff Marshall is out. All right, we're going to count this down, I guess. You know, it's a nice little pocket watch. $40 with Lenny Corton. Five, four, three, two, one. Lou, Lenny's already got you at $40. So if you want a bit over 40 yes, it is from sleeping in my car. That is right. I slept in the car at Brimfield. Then drove home with bad tires.
So, all right, Lenny, I think this is yours. Forty dollars. Nice little pocket watch. Lenny Corton, forty dollars for the nice little pocket watch. Thank you, Lenny. All right, let's see what else we can do here. We got a little Chinese bonish type pin, silver. This is nice. This is old. See how it just says silver? This is an old piece. And look at the detail on this. This is Chinese. And, uh, you know, you know what this is. It's about what, you know, so like here's a dime. So it's a pretty nice size. Let's get a $10 starting bid on this. This is good for the collection. Someone's collection would love this piece. I mean, this is an old piece, and they put it in a silver frame. Adam, Adam, this is all you. $10 with Lou. Thank you, Lou. I mean, look at the, the intricacies of the, the carving. Look at that. $30, Jeff Marshall. Bid high, bid to win, Jeff Marshall. That's his new name. This is nice. I mean, you can see just the frame is old, that they just wrote silver. You know, this is not made in China 10 years ago, 4 years ago. We're talking like, you know, the carving has got to be over 100 years old. And the pin set, probably 90. So, you know, if you add those two numbers up, I can't even go that high. But Jeff Marshall's at $30. If there's any advance, you know, let me know. I mean, that was a nice bid, Jeff. I think I'm going to count this down. This is a nice uh, pin. So, you know, we're going to start it off. Five, four, you know, two Chinese people wading in the water. You know, the Robin, $35. Beautiful. Robin, Robin also knows her stuff like... Jeff Marshall, 45. Yeah, this is nice. I'm surprised this didn't sell up in Brimfield. This is, uh, you know, this is a special. Lou, you're always late. $50, Robin Crossland. Robin, thank you. Robin knows quality when she sees it. I know. Robin, I got something for you tonight special just for you. Lou, you're always under the gun. Robin's at 50 $65, Jeff Marshall, I mean, this is a piece for the collection. Lou. Lou. Hilarious. Look at the carving. I mean, do I dare say early 1800s? Or am I crazy? $70, Robin Crossland. I mean, you know, I'm not an expert in Chinese antiquities, but I'm pretty sure these two are Chinese and I'm pretty sure they're antiquities so I mean like just beautiful and this piece will be packaged with care you know wrapped in tissue paper eighty dollars Robin thank you yes you people know you know something more than I do I know nothing Jeff Marshall ninety five dollars I, I really know nothing you know if I didn't put this up, I might have stepped on it, or the dog would have ate it. So, you know, luckily I grabbed this. $95 with Jeff Marshall. You know, possibly 200-year-old carving, set in an 80, 90-year-old pin. I mean, just preserved. Came out of a house with, all right, Robin's out. Jeff Marshall, $95. You know, you can count in your head, five four three two one and you know the lag is the lag but jeff marshall 95 dollars piece of the night thank you sir all right jeff marshall gets this uh chinese antique pin here thank you jeff anyone like limoges boxes this is an unsigned limoges box it was one of my favorite ones can open it hold on one second I'll try to open it here 
Yeah, here we go. Yeah, it's, a, it's a nice uh, cat, hand painted. You know, these are these are eBay specials right here. This is something you can't throw onto eBay. Unsigned. You know, maybe by a master artisan of some sort of from Limoges. I don't know, maybe the mayor of Limoges, France, did this. I don't know, someone someone who's well, more, better well-versed might know. But to me, it's just, it's nice. Cat on a on a tufted chair. Lou Khan at $10. Yeah, Lou, Lou knows he can sell this thing on eBay for 100 bucks. Any advance, $10 from Lou? Is Lou going to win this for $10? This is nice. Look at the look at the hardware on this. Twelve dollars with Adam. Thank you, Adam. This is a nice piece. I mean, unsigned, yes, but Jeff Marshall seventeen. Like I said, you know, the mayor of Limoges was known to work in the factory. Twenty one dollars with Lou Khan. I mean, I read somewhere that he made a couple of these and he didn't sign them. He was a little nervous. Twenty seven with Jeff Marshall. This is a nice piece, you know, you put your, I don't know, it's a pill box, I guess. You put your pills if you want, you put whatever you want in here, or you, you sit it on your cabinet and admire, or you resell it and make money off me. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for you to make the money. Me, you know, money is, is just one part of life. I love this stuff. I love go live auctions. Mark is a genius. This guy, absolute genius. I think we need a, a moment of silence for for the go live, you know, idea. And we need to support him in every way we can because Jeff Marshall, twenty seven dollars. Any advance? I'm gonna call this pretty soon. If no one else is out, Lou, you out? But Mark, yes, genius idea. Look at this, like a butterscotch amber color. All right, Jeff Marshall. I'm going to call it soon. I'm going to call it in five, four, three, two, one. Give a couple seconds for a lag. Looks like Jeff Marshall won himself a nice unsigned Limoges cat. On a chair box. Thank you, Jeff. Twenty-seven dollars, Jeff Marshall. Well, I'll keep that. I'll pack that with care. All right. Let's see. This here. This is a Japanese sake cup, and it it's got age. There's a there's a name to it. Something where. Do I know the name? I forgot it. You know. But I also forgot what I ate for dinner last night, so don't blame me. But it is signed, and, you know, it's nice. This has to at least be a $50 piece or more. It's got age. Look at the little holes in this. This is Japanese. It's not Chinese. Shinto wear, I want to say. S-H-I-N-T-O, possibly. This has got to be 80 years old. It's a little sake cup. You know, with the signature. It's Japanese. And he started $10 on this. $10 is a steal for this thing. This is nice. I mean, this is really nice. Bring this to your local Japanese restaurant. And just, you know, have the owner drooling. When you ask him to pour sake in your own very own Shinto wear antique Japanese sake cup signed. No one wants to bid on this. Look at the age. Look at the glazing, the crazing. This is an eBay special. Ten dollars with Jeff Marshall. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff knows how to make money. Yes. I would have brought it to the owner of the Italian restaurant at Brimfield and told him to give me some uh, amaretto. Right, Lenny? Fill me up with amaretto. Let's see. Any advance at $10? This is nice. This has got to be a $50 to $75 piece. 
Shinto Ware. Jeff Marshall's got it at ten dollars. If there's no more advance, I'm gonna call this because we gotta keep it moving. It's got the signature, it's got the glazing, actual shipping. All right, Jeff Marshall's gonna have it. Ten dollars in about five seconds. Four, three, two, one. We'll we'll wait wait, wait a little bit for the lag because I know there's a long lag tonight. But ten dollars. Wow. Where can you get something like this at for ten dollars? All right, Jeff Marshall. He's got it. Ten dollars. Look at that. Oh my goodness, Jeff. I might have to buy this back from you one day, but. Ten dollars, Jeff Marshall, Japanese signed sake cup. <laughs> All right, what else do we have here? We have a nice sterling silver rhinestone bracelet with a very nice gold wash and clasp. This is a nice heavy piece. Let's start this off at ten dollars. Thank you, Jeff. This is a nice bracelet. Let me open it up for you guys. This is a gold wash silver bracelet. Let me see. Hold on. Let me open it. Yes. See? Opens like so. It's got the 925 mark. $10. Nice big bracelet. Ten dollars with Jeff Marshall. Can I get twelve dollars? The gold wash is nine two five. It's big. Look at it up against the the dime there. It's big. Maybe seven inches. It'll fit a wrist. Not a man's, but a woman's probably. It's possible it'll fit a man. Any advance on Jeff's ten dollars? It's got to be at least 25 grams. $15 with Lenny. Janice, you, you came in a little too late. Lenny's at 15 $20 with Jeff Marshall. And these are not diamonds, unfortunately. They look like diamonds, but, you know, they're just not. But it is a nice piece. $20 with Jeff Marshall. 25 with Janice. Yeah, this is nice. This is a nice piece. Look at the clasp. When it has that double clasp there, you know that you want it, they want it to hold together so it doesn't fall off. And it, you know, up against the dime, you can see the size of it. $33 with Jeff Marshall. Jeff Marshall knows how to buy. Not diamonds. Nice stones, though. They're not glass, I don't think. You know, they might be some kind of crystal or synthetic uh, sapphire. She sparkles well. All right, Jeff Marshall, $33. We're going to call it down. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. One, wait for the lag, $33, I know, I know, Reed, don't worry, I got you, I'm, I'm doing an hour for fun here, all right, Jeff, $33, you got yourself a nice uh, crystallized sterling gold bracelet, gold gilt sterling bracelet, Jeff Marshall, $33, yes, like Reed said, 30 minutes, so let's keep it moving, um, what do I got here? I got a 800 silver baby rattle. And I haven't seen one like this. This is nice. 800 silver Italian probably. It's a little duck. I was going to use it on the dog's collar, but I figured, you know, if he loses it, I'm going to have to you know, make him sleep outside for a night. So I decided not to put it on there. But you don't really see him like this. This is an old piece. 
the 800 mark and probably an Italian hallmark there. But this is nice. Someone start me off. $10 for this thing. Old. 800 silver baby rattle. Or if, you, if you're, you're brave enough, you can put it on your own dog or cat so you can hear him or her whenever he's, you know, browsing around the house or getting into trouble. It's got a little duck on there. If you have a duck, you can put it on your duck too. $12 with Janice. Thank you, Janice. Yeah, Janice, this is a really nice piece. You know, bid fast because we only have, like Reed said, you know, 30 minutes. They want to do their auction, you know. I just want to sell this stuff. So $12 with Janice. Any advance? This is Hallmark piece, 800 You got an Italian Hallmark. Early 20s probably. Uh, something like that. Maybe earlier. I don't know. I can't read the other Hallmark there. But it is 800 silver. So we know it's uh, Italian or German. I'm, I'm going to say Italian. All right, Janice, $12. $16 with Jeff Marshall. If, you, if I could focus in on that other Hallmark. But I'm almost 100% positive that's an Italian Hallmark. $20, David. Thank you. Like I said, have fun with this. Give it to your baby. Give it to your dog. Give it to your cat. If you have a duck, please put this on your duck's collar. I'm not even sure if ducks wear collars. But if you do have a duck, get your duck a collar. 30 with David. Um, yeah, this is just an amazing piece. Janice, you're in a little too late. It's already up to $30 with David. You know, where do you find this thing? I mean, just beautiful. 33 Jeff Marshall. Let's bid fast. Let's bid to win, guys and girls. Janice, you got outbid. You're, you know, 33 with Jeff Marshall. And we're going to call this down. Like Reed said, their auction is at 9 and, uh, you know, it's 7.38 here on the East Coast. We only got 22 minutes. David's out. All right, Jeff Marshall, you got yourself a 800 silver Italian baby rattle, duck collar uh, charm, whatever. Thank you. $33 for Jeff Marshall. Thank you, Jeff. Put it with your stuff. All right, what else do we got here? We have a little silver snuff perfume bottle here no hallmarks that I could find but it does open up baby rattle yes I know I know it does open up I'm not sure if the stem is silver or not it's possible silver earrings I do have a pair of silver earrings Let's do those next Look at this little perfume bottle here. This is nice. Anyone wanna wanna start me at ten dollars with this thing? Nice design, no monogram or anything. Has the stopper, probably from the twenties or thirties. Like a bakelite or something. Let's see the hallmarks. Hallmarks are right there. $25 with Janice. Yeah, look at those hallmarks. Let's see. What does it say? Something good. I don't have my loop on me, so I can't see, but... It's got a number, a name, a hallmark. Everything. For all I know, this is Cartier, Tiffany, Bulgari... $25 with Janice Stark. Janice is, is the is the bidder at $25, Jeff. So we just found the hallmarks. I didn't see these till now. I mean, these look like good hallmarks. So there's a bunch of them in there. I don't know what it says. I don't have my loop. I don't have time to get the loop. We got 19 minutes left. Janice is at $25. If there's no advance, Janice is going to get herself $30 with Robin Cross. And Robin, you know your stuff. Tell us, is this Cartier? Is this something I'm going to give away? I'm trying to focus on the hallmark, but I can't really. It's really difficult to. 
but it's nice. This is a nice piece. Thirty dollars is Robin. Any advance, like I said, it has the Bakelite and a little Sterling topper, probably with the silver, you know, thing. It's not rubber here. This is not rubber or plastic. Thirty dollars is Robin Crossland. We're gonna call it in thirty-five dollars with Jeff Marshall. And let's see if we can get that hallmark. Let's see what that is. Let's say eight three five. Eight three five, I think forty dollars is Robin. So I guess this is Austrian eight three five. Forty dollars is Robin. Any advance? I don't think it says five eight five. No, because it's not gold. Yeah, eight thirty-five, forty-five with Jeff Marshall. You know, it's just a nice, nice piece. Eight thirty-five silver. Austrian fifty dollars with Robin. Thank you, Robin. Jeff, are you in? Are you out? Look at the size here, so that you know it's not tiny. Out, Robin Crossland. You got yourself a beautiful perfume snuff bottle that I just found the hallmark here at Go Live Auctions. Can you believe it? I don't. Believe it or not, Robin, you got yourself a nice thing for 50 bucks. Thank you so much. Robin Crossing, $50, the silver perfume bottle. All right, what do we got here next? Next, we're going to go for another perfume bottle. This is glass with a rose on it. You know, this is uh, just silver. You know, it's got the hallmarks, the British hallmarks on the bottom. A whole bunch of them. A whole bunch. Let's start this off at $15. Look at the rose on this. You know, we only have 17 minutes left, guys. This is a nice piece. I mean, look at those hallmarks. See if we can get them better there. There's so many hallmarks, I can't even count how many. There, there's more hallmarks. If there's more hallmarks than, than fingers on one hand, I can't do it. Scan them rings. All right, scanning rings. 20 with Robin on the thing as I'm scanning the rings. Trying to get closer. 22 with Adam. All silver rings. 25 with Robin. 31 with Jeff Marshall. Yeah, we'll keep it in the picture here. Just to show this uh, hallmarks here. Like I said, more hallmarks than on one hand. I lost count. If I don't have enough fingers, hallmarks, I'm done. I can't count it. Sorry, guys. You'll have to do that when it gets to you shipped at actual shipping cost. $35, Robin Crossland. Silver one in the back. There you go, for Barb. She's looking at the rings here while wow, this sells. 35 with Robin Crossland. Any advance? This is a nice piece. I didn't notice all these hallmarks till now. This is a nice piece. Any advance at Robin's $35 for this cut gla nice glass antique sterling wrapped perfume bottle. Put whatever you want in there. Robin's at $35. Nice right in the middle. Looks like a belt. Okay, I know what you're talking about. I've seen it. This one. That ring, or uh, this one. All right, Robin, I think you got yourself a thing. We got five seconds. Five, four, thirty-five dollars. She's gonna steal this away. Three, two. It's got the top. Let's get the size here for everyone. All right, give some time for a lag. 
Robin Crossland has it. $35. Thank you so much, Robin. All right, you want to do this ring right here? The snake ring. Let's do this snake ring with the lapis eyes. This is silver barb. This isn't gold, I don't think. Like, I mean, I could be wrong, but let's get ten dollars to start this nice ring out. Lapis eyes. I don't have my sizer, but it's probably a size nine. No, not this one. All right, that's uh, not that one. All right. This one. Silver, yes, this is all silver here. All sterling silver. This one we can start at ten dollars, Barb. It's nice. I didn't check it for diamonds. I don't know if it is diamonds. You know, it's in silver. I hope. I don't think it's gold. Uh, this is probably a size eight. So this is ten dollars. We got twelve minutes left. Probably an eight. I'd say, let me see, yeah, 7.5, 8, something like that, 7.5 to 8, this ring, $10 with Barb, thank you, Barb, it's a nice ring, you know, it could be diamonds, I didn't really test them, $10 with Barb, any advance, all right, we're going to sell this in 5 Four, three, fifteen dollars with Jeff Marshall. Jeff Marshall comes over the top. It's possible these are little baguettes. It's possible. I don't know. I don't have time to get the tester out. But, you know, they did put diamonds in silver. If it's silver. Fifteen dollars with Jeff Marshall. Nice little belt kind of ring going here. Fifteen dollars with Jeff Marshall size. Let's get a size like that. It's about a seven point five, I'd say. Fifteen dollars with Jeff Marshall. All right, we're gonna call this in five, four. Yeah, I gotta watch this. Three, two, one. Jeff Marshall's got himself a ring, $15. The belt ring, $15. All right, the only watch I have is the Texas Instruments LED watch that I need to get a $40 start on. This is a rare watch, LED Texas Instruments. I don't have a battery to put in, but you don't see these. I need a $40 start on this watch. You know, this is early 80s, maybe late 70s. But these are these are coming back here. Paul, any interest at $40 in this watch? We got 10 minutes left. Reed is going to kill me. Pass. All right, pass. All right, let's see. Um... Let me see what I can do here. How about... This is a World War II Japanese officer's sake cup. So it is World War II Imperial Japan sake cup. And they would give it to the officers to drink their sake as a reward or something. This is military... Uh, Ten dollars with Constantine. Constantine knows his Japanese stuff. Thank you, someone. This is a nice piece. This is thirty-five with Jeff Marshall. Jeff, bid high, bid to win. Constantine, you know. I mean, you might even re be able to read this, Constantine. I don't know what it says. Maybe it's their name and rank. 
but it's a uh, specific officer's sake, personal sake cup. I'm not going to say field sake cup, but it's it's nice. World War II, so, you know, it's not 100 years old, but can't read Japanese, Constantine? Okay, but, you know, you know your stuff. Jeff Marshall's at $35. It's got the flag. It's got the helmet. Any advance? We got eight minutes left. Constantine, what do you think? You think it's worth uh, forty dollars for you? Here's the size there. Jeff Marsh is at thirty-five. I think we'll count it down. All right, Constantine seems to be out. Forty dollars, Robin coming in. Constantine's out. Robin's at forty dollars. Jeff Marshall. What do you say? Japanese officers or high ranking officer. I don't know. You'd have to ask Constantine. He he knows his stuff. But it's got all the writing on the sides. Personalized. Alright, Robin Crossland. I'm gonna count it down for you. Japanese sake cup military. You know, five, four. Three, two, one, seven minutes to go. If no lag, Robin Crossland has herself a beautiful sake cup that should have sold in Brimfield. Thank you, Robin, for the bids on the sake cup. All right, rings. We're going to do choice. All right. All these rings here start at $15. And you can choose which one you want. Just the rings. Just the rings. Just the rings. So, $15 to start. They're all silver except for the coin ring, which is just a regular coin. And, you know, whatever ring you want, $15 to start. You get choice. They're all silver. We got a little Native American one over here. You know, with some citrine, tiger eye, you know, more citrine, little possible coral, um, aquamarine, purple stones, coral, you know, pink stones. $15 to start. Anyone want to buy some rings? We got six minutes left, or Reed is coming to my house and killing me. So no one wants to do any rings? All right, someone said they wanted uh, earrings. Look at these earrings right here. These are silver earrings with a little gold wash. I'll take a $10 starting bid on these. Five minutes left, guys. No one? Alright, how about we do... I know, Reed, I know, I know, I know, I know. $15, you want to do choice? Alright, $15, Ryan Keller on choice. Reed, 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 Reed. I know you're going to come to New York and kill me. I got you. I'm, I'm watching the clock. Five minutes here, $15. The coin ring is a electroplated 1902 Indian head coin. It's not gold. It is uh, 18 karat gold electroplated. All right, $15 choice. All right, Ryan Keller. You can have one, two, three, four, five, as many as you want. Let's see. We're going we're gonna to end it. That's it. $15, Ryan Keller. Which one, Ryan? Give me an idea of which, uh, which, which section at least. This side, this side, row. You know, give me an idea which one you want here. Come on, Ryan, give me an idea. Right, we got four minutes, and Reed is, uh, Reed's gonna, she's gonna come kill me here. Ryan. 
is the only one. What do, you, what do you mean is the only one? Just one ring. Yeah, you get one ring. You pick one ring. You, or you can pick two rings. I mean, I don't know. Pick them all if you want. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, three, one, twenty, two, three, 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 four. 26, you get 26 times 15, 27 times 15, so, you know, you want to let me know? We got three minutes, all right, I'm going to let Ryan think about that, and we're going to move on to a sterling silver Chanteline pencil, this has the pencil inside, it is sterling silver, would hang on your neck, and uh, Ryan's going to let me know. Let's start this off at $10. we got three minutes left. I don't want Reed coming to my house and killing me tonight. So, you know, $10, Constantine, of course, knows with the best stuff. You know, Tiffany made these. Is it a Tiffany one? I doubt it. But Tiffany did make these. They made gold and silver. A little Chanteline, could be a watch fob, $10 with Constantine, and while well, Ryan chooses, you know, 33 with Janice Stark, bid high, bid to win, all right, Janice Stark, $33 for the, the sterling silver uh, pencil Chanteline fob, all right, we're going to call this here, that's it. Janice, you got it. $33. Janice Stark, $33 on the silver pencil. You want the native, you want the coin ring, Ryan, right? Okay, Ryan gets the coin ring. This one here, Ryan gets the coin ring. Ryan Keller, coin ring for $15. No, no, the, Ryan's got the coin ring for $15. Janice got the pencil for 33. All right. We got 2 minutes left here. Let's see. Let's do Let's do this whole lot of costume jewelry. This whole lot. The whole bracelets and bangles. Come on, let's go. Let's bid last lot. 1 minute. Let's go. Reed's going to go live in 1 minute. Look. Let's start this at $20. Come on, look at this. This is heavy. This needs to go in a, in a large flat rate shipping box. Let's go. Let's bid. Come on. We got one minute left here. One minute. Reed's going to kill me. I'll get you. We'll talk, Ryan. We'll talk. $40 with Jeff Marshall. All these bracelets. All these bracelets. $40. Look at this one. A little shaky one. Look at this. I think this is like Tory Burch or something. Some designer. Any advance? Come on. I don't want Reed to kill me. I don't start any trouble. Okay, Ryan, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, Ryan. Don't worry. All right, we got rings in here. Any advance of Jeff Marshall's $40? Look how big this is. This is a huge tray of costume jewelry. All right, look, that's, that's it. I think that's it. We got about 20 seconds left. So if there's no other advance, Jeff Marshall has this whole tray for $40. Good night, everyone. Reed, sorry if I got you nervous, but thank you guys for attending the one-hour Rush Home from Brinfield auction. All right, Jeff, you got yourself. Thank you, guys. Everyone, thank you. Be back next time. Bye-bye. Ryan, PM me. Jeff Marshall taking it down.